Hello my friends, welcome back. Well, where do I begin? Let's start off first with a big thank you to all of my friends who joined me last Friday night for another live concert, this time with another singer friend of mine, national recording artist Slim Man was kind enough to join us from Palm Springs, California. Check out the show if you haven't already. Also check out the video, a quick clip I posted where Slimmy <laughs> describes in his mind what Ubuntu is it was it, it was funny check it out all right so we had planned that show we're talking about planning it a couple weeks before we were trying to figure out how he could uh, you know which software to use for his MacBook Air he also has a uh, wireless mic a mixer uh, I guess some kind of a digital audio workstation for his MacBook Air to make a long story short we, we decided to use uh, Zoom because it works perfectly in his, his Mac. And I said, let's do it. Well, uh, about a couple days before showtime, Zoom stopped working in my Linux distribution, my Ubuntu Mate. Uh, it wouldn't start, or it would start and freeze up the entire system. I really don't know what happened, to be quite honest. Never had a problem like that before. I also noticed that simple screen recorder wouldn't work either. Again, I really don't know. Well, I had no time to try and figure things out with Zoom, so it was Windows 10 to the rescue. I know, I know, I don't know what else to say, but Zoom worked perfectly, for me at least, in Windows 10. So we did the show Friday night, everything went fine. Great show, and we hope to, to do it again uh, sometime soon. And uh, I'll give you guys a heads up. So, Zoom worked in the Windows 10. Why didn't it work in Linux or in my Ubuntu Mate distribution? So, you know, I'm a fairly patient guy. I try to figure things out, you know, uh, why something doesn't work. Um, and um, I ran out of luck. <laughs> luck, I suppose. I could not figure out what happened. But then it dawned on me, you know what, this is just ridiculous. Why not just install the universal snap packages which are supposed to, in theory, prevent potential problems like the ones I had. And guess what? The snap versions of both Zoom and Simple Screen Recorder, they installed fine and they appear to be working fine. I ran a test last night uh, with Zoom privately and uh, did a recording and everything seemed fine. So for me, the Snap Packages came to the rescue. Now Snap Packages, if you're all new to this, you can get more information here. And basically these are, in theory, these are supposed to be universal, self-contained pieces of software packages such as Zoom or Simple Screen Recorder or something else where once you install these there's nothing else to install. There's nothing missing that may not make a specific software work. Everything is self-contained and the nice thing about these these are universal which means also in theory they should work perfectly you would hope across different Linux distributions. And for me they worked perfectly fine. Now, this is why packages like this, among others, there are flat packs. Uh, this is why packages or universal packages like this are, are so important uh, to prevent problems and or to help someone like me uh, who has run into problems in the past. Not that many. I, I have to give Linux developers a lot of credit. Uh, for doing such a great job over the last few years, actually more than a few years. But packages like these are meant to stop or prevent, lessen potential problems such as the ones I had. And I have to give the developer of, of Umate, Ubuntu Mate, Martin Wimpress, we affectionately call him Wimpy, kudos for not disabling snap packages by default. Okay? We talked about this before. Now, Ubuntu Mate, you can install pretty much what you want. Nothing is disabled by default, at least not that I'm aware of. So in my situation, I was able to fix the problems that I had. But what if you were a beginner 
and you installed whatever Linux distribution that you like. It doesn't necessarily have to be Ubuntu Monte. It could be anything. Let's say you picked Linux Mint and you wanted to do a concert. You liked Zoom. Zoom doesn't work. You install, you try to install Snap. Snaps are disabled by default. And you don't know offhand immediately, you know, how to fix that, how to enable Snaps without doing some homework, which is, which should be completely unnecessary. But that's my reasoning. Those are my thoughts on why Ubuntu Snap packages are so important to help prevent potential issues in the future. So thank you Ubuntu Mate for not disabling snaps by default. Thank you Snap developers for making my fixer upper a little bit easier. Uh, oh, one last thing. Uh, if you would like to sponsor the next Linux 18, let me know in the comments below or send me an email linux18 at gmail.com. Arrivederci.